Hello there. This is Aristotle. For today's lesson, I will be discussing the difference between two words that are often interchanged and to some extent, mistakenly used. Although it is not a serious grammatical issue, but if you wish to communicate more effectively and sound more professional, you better start enriching your storehouse of vocabulary in their distinct use. So the words I'm referring to are customer and client, again. Customer versus client. Customer. Client. So essentially, in any business, there are patrons or people who buy the goods or use the services offered by any establishment. Let me share with you my own situation. I had a hair salon, I have a mini grocery, and by profession I am a teacher of English language. I have regular customers at my mini grocery and my hair salon had regular clients. So, there you are, I have just used both the words, customer and client. Now, let me give you the definition of both. And then, we will further the discussion for better understanding. What is a customer? A customer buys goods or services. He or she is the one who is going to buy products from a shop or a business. Is that clear? On the contrary, a client is someone who seeks individualized professional service from a provider like accountant, consultant, or a lawyer, I hope, I made it clear. Once again, a customer looks for products and services, while a client avails of services alone. The only thing that makes students or readers confuse is in the meaning of the word customer. Because the definition of customer states that, someone who buys products or services. Yes. That is true in the case of a mobile phone shop. A mobile phone shop sells at the same time offers after sales services like installing screen protector that the same customer buys from the shop and still pays for that extra service of installing the screen protector, say for an additional dollar or two. There is not much, if no serious signed agreement or written document signed between a shop owner and a customer. Well, this is not the case between a client and a service provider because the personal attention with a client is highly required between the two and the agreement usually lasts longer. So it needs some kind of protection for both parties. Customers and clients both make purchases regardless of how long they have known you or how long they want to stay. Both of these connections call for excellent customer or client satisfaction. But let me tell you that not in all instances we use the words customer and client to refer to buyers or users of services. Say for example, hospitals. In hospitals or dental clinics, we call them patients. In my case as a teacher, or in schools or educational institutions, we call them students. However, some people often overuse the word client as the word sounds more professional, serious, formal and dignified especially so for marketing ads purposes. In summary, and for retention purposes. A customer is a person who buys products and services from a mobile phone shop, for example, while a client avails of services of a lawyer or an accountant. So, that's it for now. Please, type your comment below for any topics that you want me to talk about. Like warehousing and workplace English or anything related to our topic today. Also, please do not forget to hit the like icon, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button so you will not miss my uploaded videos on warehousing and workplace English lessons once or twice a week. I have recently uploaded videos on the difference between a sales order and a purchase order, and the difference between the words suggest and recommend. And there will be more videos to come. Most of the videos on warehousing last between 3 and 8 minutes, while with workplace English videos, apart from this video, last only for one minute, so they won't eat up much of your time anywhere you are. But I'll make sure they will be fun and worth to watch, however short they are. Bye guys. Stay safe.